Hey guys, hope you guys are doing good. I uh, got a little mail, so I wanted to make a video. This is a, uh, well, we'll just get into it. I'm not gonna, you know, I'll talk about it after I open it up. hog salad mold. I've been keeping an eye on these guys for a minute and just deciding on what I wanted to buy. Um, you know, just watching their stuff, seeing what I like. And then, uh, you know, a little handwritten note on the invoice, which is really cool. I do that. Um, I, I handwrite a little note on every invoice for every order that goes out. So that was really cool to see somebody else doing it too. Um, so let's get the box out of the way and I'll show you guys what we got. Uh, like I said, they've got a couple of, they got a handful of molds, um, some real good stuff. This is the one that really stuck out to me. I've never seen one like this. Uh, I don't have an injection mold of this type yet, so uh, that's why I got it. I'm waiting on, I know Jason and Amanda over at Epic, sorry I heard something outside, I've got a couple in the works, I'm picking those up already when they come out, um, but I don't have one yet, and I just wanted to, you know, I like checking out different companies, I love Jason and Amanda, and I love using Epic, um, but I also like, I like to see what's out there, I like to have a lot of different stuff, especially from a, uh, um, a production standpoint, um, as a, as a business owner, I need to have, you know, a lot of different stuff, so people have a very... I want, you know, I want my customers to have a lot of choices, pretty much is what I'm getting at. I don't know why it took me so, I had to go such a weird way about saying it, but, uh, yeah. And what's funny is, after I ordered this, I started seeing other bait makers I know who picked up molds from the same company, but, um, it's nice, man. So let's, uh, let's check it out. If you've seen the red tabs, you might, you might already know who it is, or, uh, I already said who it was, so of course you do. Yeah, hog salad, it's kind of nice, it says it right there, Epic's got their, their stuff, but, uh, stamp on it also but that's cool to have it's got it's like it's number it's got the the top the company what it is which if you guys saw that it's the uh, 3.1 inch moon dog crawl oh cool there you guys go I like the fat body of it I got the 3.1 because it's a little slim down people don't understand in my area Maybe not Ohio completely, but in my area, um, four or five pounds is a pretty big bass. Uh, at least where I fish at. So, um, the 4.1 seems like a great flipping and punching one, and uh, I might get that later on down the road, but at first, to start off with, I got this one. Um, yeah, it great, looks like it's got great venting. Um, really nice, clean looking molds. Know, it says top on top, bottom on the bottom to let you know where you're, what you're, what you're doing, which is always a great feature to have. I'll just set these in here. I won't make you guys watch me. Then. I love doing different colored crawls. So, of course, we picked up the crawl, the crawl bot, or the, uh, I didn't really give you guys a good shot of that. So, of course, we got the extra crawl. And if, like, something I noticed about this when I, uh, when I was checking it out on their website, if you look right there, it's got, like, a nub. So, it actually makes a, uh, it's got a head and a nub. So, that nub actually sits inside the body and gets encapsulated in plastisol. And then it's got the head on there, too. I really like that. A lot of places, it's just the, the, the just the crawls or just the flappers or whatever you know just the tail i like that it has the head on there also i think that's 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 neat um so yeah there they are we're going to uh i'm going to get some some plastics all heated up i'm going to see if i'm going to do a uh a custom like a, a, a specific colorway or maybe i'll just shoot some i got this stuff right here which is just uh a good it's uh move the slippers 
pretty nice little green pumpkin with uh, gold, red, and a little bit of hyper shift. So maybe we'll shoot some of these whole just to see uh, how she goes. So we'll be back in a minute. Alrighty. I think I said earlier that I called this Move the Slippers. No, I made a color called Move the Shoes, and I was trying to recreate it, and it came out a different color, so I called this Fruitcake because it reminded me of Christmas. But anyway, let's uh, let's shoot some of these moon dogs and see how they come out. This is just a solid. Um, I'm not. I will mess around with the uh, the claws here in a minute. Should be enough, I would think. Let's find out. I've never used this mold before, so let's see if this is enough to fill her up. Yep, seems pretty good. I, I like the description and stuff. Seems really neat. I like the idea, um, the flappers and the, the the action and the movement. And I looked it up. I haven't seen, but maybe one or two people actually doing anything with this mold. Um, Seen their other stuff getting some some action, like the gillies, and uh, which is awesome. I've used Geekrack for a long time. The gillies and the uh, the speed daddies, and some of the worms, but I really I could only find like one or two people who were actually uh, shooting this moon dog, which is the one I thought was the most interesting. So we're uh, yeah, we'll let this sit for a second, and we'll we'll be right back. I'm gonna sneeze, so I'm gonna pause the video. All right, let's check it out now. I shot this cold right out of the box, so if there are some dents, that's probably going to have to do with the fact that it was a cold mold. It's pretty warm right now, which means it pulled a lot of the heat from the plastic saw. It didn't drink a lot, though, so I'm, I'm assuming that they should look pretty good. We're going to find out. It's the week of molds. I've got some more molds coming in later on today, and then I've got some more molds. I've got some secondhand molds I bought coming in later on today, and then I've got some other molds coming in tomorrow. It's always nice to be able to hook up with other bait makers and like, if something's not working in their area, they'll sell molds off to buy stuff that does work, and you know, it, it helps. You know, it helps everybody because if I'm the buyer, then you know I get a deal on some great molds, and if I'm the seller, then I'm helping. You know, I'm getting some cash for my stuff that I'm not using. And I'm helping somebody else. So, ooh, buddy, that came out smooth. I mean, that thing just popped right off the top. And the... Yeah, so you guys go. It's the the venting. I thought the flappers were going to be that big, but when you look at this, it almost reminds me of uh, like it looks like a crawl, right? But it reminds me a little bit of a ant lion. And I think that's why I liked it. Like these little, these little, uh, where's my camera? There it is. On the pinchers. And like if you look, like I said, cold mold, all of these little legs filled in. And they look like just like a stick. But if you flip them this way, they've actually got some width to them. And that's going to, A, it's going to be great for punching because it's going to let them fold down as it goes through uh, vegetation and stuff. But also all these little wisps on, these little whiskers on the crawls all came in fully. Um. That's actually not a bad color for uh, a crawl either. I'm pretty stoked. Um, it's a little flatter on the bottom, not flat, but not as bulb on the bottom. So it's gonna lay, it's gonna have a nice lay to it, I think. Um, impressed overall, man. I mean, the machine work looks great. They, these shot, awesome. Uh, like I said, yeah, it reminds me more of a uh, like an antlion than a crawl. An antlion doesn't have as many legs, but the little, the smaller pinchers and bigger head um, really remind me of an antlion. Um, I got the three point. What is it? Is it three point one? I can't remember now because yeah, three point one. I thought it was, but I wasn't positive. Instead of the four inch, um, because like I said, around here, the big beefy stuff doesn't tend to do as well at least not for me i don't fish everywhere and i'm not everybody but i'm gonna have like six people from ohio be like no you just suck uh that might be the case <laughs> um i'm also pretty stubborn when i go out and i'm using a bait then i'm using that bait i've stood next to my buddy while i'm fishing swim baits and he's caught five fish on a jig and he's like you know they're biting a jig and i'm like you know i don't give a shit i'm fishing the swim bait it's just what i'm doing uh fishing ain't always about catching to me but no thought it burnt for a minute but it did not but yeah, pretty neat. And then um, 
Do I buy any like weird orange? Could you imagine shooting some of the orange in this? Like, except for the fact that I just shot it all into these. Hold on. You guys know that's hot? Summer where you gone? The cat walked off. Sometimes I talk a lot, sometimes I don't talk at all. There's no medium. It's weird. I, uh, I'm kind of antisocial, but my mom, like, she loved to talk to people. Um, she'd have a 10 minute conversation with the person giving us our food in McDonald's. She's probably the reason they got that fucking counter. Um, <laughs> she was the best, and I got it from her. And uh, even though I'm socially, I'm not real social, I still, like, once I get going, I can't shut up. Not one of those big ones made. Well, no, the bottom one got a couple of them into it. Which I guess that, that kind of makes sense. There's that, like, little nub and head that I was talking about. I think I'm really worried about are those uh, really fine little fuzzes. don't want to watch this. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's going to be great. This is why you purge your injector. I mean, I guess you try not to put that much air into it. Jeez, where's the dang blast? Oh, there it is! That still felt like it had a bunch of air in it. If there is a next run, I will have to hand pour it into the injector. <laughs> there might be though. We're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna try to do one more. Don't know why it stopped. But it's alright. This is second section. I know it's gonna be kind of a long video guys, and I'm still keeping the gap to a minimum and hurrying along to try to show you what I'm doing. But you know those first ones were just that base color and it went a little further. So I wanted to have some dents. I think that's me though. That's my fault. That those are dented like that. Um, Cause some of them are good and some of them aren't, but there's that spot where the flapper head is. Those are pretty sweet. Yeah, I can feel it. It just, uh, they started to solidify. I didn't get my glass all hot enough right there. It's hollow, which means that it sealed up before what I was pouring it to. That's all right. Not all perfect. I'm 
Another thing I got to be real careful of is making sure that all these legs fill in properly. They all look like they did, so that's a bonus. All right. I'm going to do one more. Yeah, the only real robot one had a little bottom dent, and this one's got a big old top dent. That's all right. had it on before but I wasn't thinking You know what I did, man? I got a... Uh... Shit. I got into it and I forgot to start recording when I shot the molds. That's a bummer. Um, well, I guess I'll be surprised, but it did, won't it? <laughs> Shit. All right, we'll be back in a minute. I'll remember to record this time. All right, so both these colors were a little hotter than I wanted. Uh, so hopefully it still comes out looking pretty snarly, but we'll find out. Wanted to say, uh, saw a post today, um, I'm expanding the scents. You know, we've got some scents. It's a quarter to add scent to your bait. You just put what bait you want, or what bait you want, what, shit, what scent you want on what bait, um, in the memo on the website. Let me see, so you guys can see me. Um, Travis just made a, a post today saying that he has doubled the potency of the scents. So from now on, they will be twice as potent um dead on restocks tomorrow afternoon friday afternoon so i will be ordering tomorrow we've already got we've got we've got a nice kraken earthworm pig pen that might be all but we are going to be adding garlic coffee um fish food uh, I, I'm probably gonna get them all and that way like people will know we'll have the full line of dead-on scents And then there'll just be a spot where you can pick scent and then in the memo You tell me what scent you want on what part of your order. Let's check these out So it did hold, those colors are kind of similar. Um, they might have bled a little, but it really did hold pretty good. What do you guys think about that? I think it looks pretty cool, little, little chartreuse snippers. Um, it looks a lot like limier and mellower on camera, but in real life, these are like straight chartreuse. I don't know why this makes it look so uh, limey. That's a nice color though. Like, I'm not saying that crawls have chartreuse uh, claws, but now see that's the one thing I worry about is like fudging these up. These ones are a little curled on the end. Just on this one, it must not have been sitting right and it kind of curled some of them. Uh, still there, still gonna do their job. They're just a little curled. Just like two or three of them too, so. Um, it shoots good, it laminates good. Uh, like I said, I like the way it, this head kind of locks it in there. It's got a good chunk of it that is inside of the body of the bait. So you are definitely going to, uh, to be all right. Let me grab the other. Walking away from the camera, probably one of the big no-nos of making videos, but 
and then I kept two of the regular just the solid body ones the rest of them I cut up to do the bodies for this but um yeah we'll go in and get a thumbnail hope you guys enjoyed the video uh you can like and subscribe if you want but uh if you're gonna do anything go check out my instagram channel and uh follow me there for all kinds of fun stuff like this i'm always posting there i do sales there uh giveaways there everything kind of happens on the instagram i try to remember youtube but the instagram's the main stillwater bait co uh on instagram there you go thank you guys for watching stay safe tight lines we'll see you on the next one